Happy Ban Books Week. Um, I just want to drop by and just give you some information about Ban Books Week. Um, I am so excited that so many of you are curious about what um, this week means. And so I'm going to just break it down for you real quick. So um, Ban Books Week is a national um, week in the book community, like librarians, libraries, schools, that just basically celebrates your freedom to read whatever you want. So all around the United States, there are going to be bookstores and libraries that are gonna be celebrating um, this week. And so it is normally in September, and this week it is September 26th through October 2nd. Okay, and so the reason why Banned Books Week came about is because a long time ago and now, to be honest, um, there are a lot of books that are in bookstores and libraries and classroom libraries that people um, have challenged. And so um, in 1982, um, the Library Association, they basically um, came up with Banned Books Week to just celebrate your freedom to read. Okay, um, so there's a difference between like banned books and challenged books. A challenge is basically an attempt to remove um, a book from a person or group or materials, okay? Banning is when those materials have completely been removed and you cannot access them anymore. And so really like a long time ago, a lot of amazing books that were in libraries, in bookstores, in classrooms were banned. They were removed completely. It is okay for there to be a challenge. It's okay for people to question materials to see if they're appropriate. But what's been, what happens a lot is the banning, the taking away of the books. So a lot of challenges of materials and books, um, especially in curriculum and library collection are unsuccessful. And um, the banning of books, we don't really do that anymore because that's called censorship, okay? So um, books are challenged because people, they wanna protect, you know, and I understand that, they people want to protect other people, but what is um, inappropriate for one person may not be inappropriate for others. It's really about um, your parent and what your parent feels that um, is appropriate and inappropriate for you. But um, books are challenged because um, materials they consider are explicit, um, there may be offensive language, or it's unsuited for that age or group. Um, People who tend to challenge books, um, duh, are adults, their parents, because it's their responsibility to know what you're reading, to um, be involved in your education. So sometimes parents will come across a book that um, is being read and they feel like it's inappropriate for their child. But where it goes a little bit further is um, when the parent wants or the adult wants the book to be removed from the library so no one can um, have access to it. And that's just not um, part of my job. I cannot um, censor materials because one person feels it's inappropriate for all. And so what I try to do is make sure that all the books that are in the library are appropriate for this age level, which is sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. So here are some books that in some point in time were banned. I know, I know, take it all in y'all. So Hunger Games um, was banned due to insensitivity, anti-family and violence and gore. Harry Potter, it was banned at one time because it promotes witchcraft. I know, A Wrinkle in Time. Um, a Wrinkle in Time was banned at one time because the female, a female was the heroine, the lead character. And during a, a particular um, time in history, you know, women were um, supposed to just be in the kitchen. They were supposed to be learning how to be wives, not saving someone, not being the main lead character in a book. And Diary of a Wimpy Kid is considered anti-family. 
you know, because how the brother is always like, oh, I'm leaving home. I can't stand. You know, they're always fighting like normal people. So these are examples of banned books. So what I want you guys to realize is, you know, all of these books are amazing. But imagine, just imagine if today we still had that practice, these amazing books would be gone. And so that is why we celebrate Banned Books Week. That's why we want, you all don't have too many rights, but the right that you do have is to always um, have that freedom to read what you'd like to read. So um, I want you to stop by the Pat's Library this week. I know this is um, not your library day, but stop by the Pat's Library. And um, I have a display of other books um, that were at one time banned or challenged, and you can read them, pick them up, um, and look and see why they were banned or challenged. Now, these books, you are not going to be able to check these books out until Friday, but you are more than welcome to come in and um, see why they were banned or challenged. Some of them, you are going to be shook at. They are so surprising. Um, I'm doing a contest this week as well. Um, you can come in, and I have a jar. And it has been, um, it's a banned book or an, yeah, one of the banned books and it has been shredded. I, disclaimer, no book in the library has been harmed to make this banned book shred jar. Okay. But you can pick it up. You can look at it. You just can't open it. And all I want you to do is guess what you think that, um, the book is. And so, um, what I want you to, understand is how does this make you feel when you see this book torn into pieces and that shredded book is a symbolic representation of what it means to ban a book and so if you guess the title of the book um you will be entered to win 50 pbis points now you may only enter one time a day one time a day Okay, and five winners will be announced on Friday, October 1st um, during announcements. Yes, it is bothering me that I misspelled this, but I'm going to keep going. All right, so happy Band Books Week. Feel free to stop by, take a look at the display, and um, come in and enter the contest. Have a great day, Pats. Bye.